Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another LEGO investing video. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you five different sets that have sort of caught my eye on LEGO Shop at Home in the UK, their uh, retiring soon section in their little marked as retiring soon. So these sets will be um, obviously retiring soon, you know, I, I can't give you a date. Some of these sets will retire sooner than others. Um, but as I mentioned, I think I mentioned this in my previous video, previous LEGO investing video, but um, it's always worth grabbing LEGO sets when they are retiring, opposed to when they first come out. Because when you, if you buy them when they first come out, you're going to be waiting longer for them to retire and for them to actually go up in value. So yeah, uh, that's why I've sort of um, made this list specific to the Retiring Soon set. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not saying that all these are great plays, great investments. I'm not saying that all these are flops or anything like that. These are just sort of the ones that have caught my eye. But with a lot of LEGO City sets on there, and I don't generally invest in LEGO City sets because they, um, they just don't do as well as some of the licensed themes, to tell you the truth. So, I mean, I'm not saying, that is a generalisation. Some LEGO City sets do well. But you need to kind of know, you need to be a bit more of an advanced investor investor in LEGO to actually know which of the city sets will do well because it requires a bit more knowledge and a bit more, uh, a bit more history um, and a bit more looking back at different city sets and stuff like that. Whereas investing in sort of licensed themes is a good starting point for any LEGO investor because... Generally, on the whole, a lot of the licensed themes do well, uh, much better than something like City or something that's not licensed like that. So, yeah, anyway, without further ado, I'll get on with it. So, uh, first set is this 4263, the Christmas Square. Uh, lovely little set, this, as you can see. Um, you know, really lovely sort of stocking filler, great for the kids on Christmas Day. And uh, it'll entertain them for a little bit, building it and having a little bit of a play around with it. Um, it's got a good p uh, price point, you know, for the general public at £8.49. Lovely little set. Uh, great just to obviously buy and build. Um, but is it good for investment? Will it be good for an investment? Um, well, I'm going to give you a comparison. So, one set that is somewhat similar to this. I can't give you a complete comparison, but, you know, it's a similar set from 2015. And that's 4125. And that is... Santa's visit retail for six ninety nine, and um, what has how has that performed like over the last two years? Obviously, been retired for two years now, give or take. And um, yeah, how has that performed on the secondary market? Well, um, looking at eBay, it's not performed very well. I mean, it's done fifteen quid, not you know fifteen pound average selling price, fifteen sixteen quid, something like that. It's not the best, you know, for a seven pound investment. I wouldn't be bothered doing that. I really wouldn't, to tell you the truth. It's not kind of uh, the margin I'd be looking for. However, on Amazon FBA, for whatever reason, there is FBA offers coming in at twenty five ninety nine. Now, normally FBA is high. You know, Amazon FBA is normally higher than eBay, so it's not too much of a surprise. Um, will that price go up slightly towards Christmas? Maybe, maybe it could touch 30 quid. Same on eBay, maybe on eBay it could touch like 18, 19. You know, the price will go up a little bit just as it will with FBA. Uh, but we'll see on that. I'd have to track the, the, the product itself. So, you know, you buy this, in, buy this set, the Santa's Visit in 2015, seven quid. You obviously place multiple orders so and you can get multiple free gifts from Lego. You then sell your free gifts at the time. Well, this is just what I would do. Sell your free gifts from Lego Shop at Home at the time. And then that recoups some of your cost. Then you divide the number of units you've got. So say you bought five of these or ten of these in one order. Say you bought ten of them in one order. You then divide that number by the amount of money you now have basically purchased them for after um, you have sold that free gift. So the number will change because the net profit you've made from that free gift will be knocked off the entire purchase cost from that order. So then if you actually average it out, the cost per unit might be something like £6 or £6.50 rather than the £7 because you've sold that free gift off to recoup some of the cost. So Doing that, you know, you're now into them for six quid each. That's fairly decent. 
you whack them away, you've got 30 of them, and you've made, what, like, three or four orders on LEGO Shop at home, so you've got your different free gifts. And um, you then whack them away for two years, and you send them up to FBA right now, 2017, two years later, for 26 quid, or maybe... Um, you might, you know, whack them up there for 30 quid and hope for the best and hope that yours gets picked up for 30 quid right near Christmas. So £6 into 25 99 or £6 into 30 quid, yes, that is a good play. I would do it as a long-term investor, I would invest in that. Um, in terms of the Christmas square then, what could this tell us about investing in the Christmas square? I, personally, I don't feel as comfortable investing in the Christmas square. I don't know why. I just don't feel like this one's going to fly as much as the Santa's visit did. I mean, that is just my personal opinion. It has no weight on what the set will actually do. Uh, you know, it could completely fly. This set could do really, really well in the next year or two. Um, am I investing that? Am I investing in the Christmas Square? I am, but I'm only getting a few of them. I'm not going to go like crazy. I mean, if I really thought that was a really good play, I'd be getting 20, 30, 40, 50 of them things because they're cheap. They're only like eight quid. You know, if I could, I'd be getting at least 10, 20, 30. Um, if, you know, if this month I thought to myself, right, that is a decent play. I'm going all in on that this month. I would do that. But I really don't feel that confident. I'd, I'd have to feel very, very, very confident to do that and go all eggs in one basket this month to uh, with a Lego set like that. But I don't feel that comfortable, so I've sort of spread my risk again this month. And in the haul video, you will see there's different things. You know, I've, I've varied it. I've uh, varied uh, what I've been picking up, actually. Um, so next set, 75871. Uh, the Ford Mustang GT currently retails at 12 99 this set will be retiring very soon, I can tell you that right now. Um, I, I just know that. I know that this set, any day now, any week now, this is going to retire very, very soon. Um, comparisons with this one. This is from the Speed Champions range. It's a licensed set. Um, and yeah, really, really good. I, I think this is going to be a good investment. I'm no financial advisor. I'm not saying to you go out and invest in this. But I am personally am investing in this one. I think this is a good play. Um, so seven five nine zero, uh, yeah, seven five nine zero nine. The McLaren. Um, this has been retired for about twelve months, and on Amazon FBA, I've not wrote down the eBay price. The eBay price will be a bit less, but I'm sure it's still good. Um, on Amazon FBA, it's thirty nine pounds, thirty eight ninety nine. The Amazon FBA offers are coming in at. So yeah, really, really cool. From twelve ninety nine. I mean, if you got this on a discount, typically. The LEGO Speed Champions smaller sets, you don't get a very good discount on them. You'll be lucky to get 20%. Um, but if you get a 20% discount, you got it for a tenner into pretty much 40 quid within a year or in about a year. That is crazy. Uh, and then we have another comparison. and I've got it right here, actually. Um, and this is the... Oh, where is it here? 75899. This is LaFerrari. It does come with a little traffic light as well. And I think there might be something else on this set, but I'm not 100% sure. But there it is there. It's a little bit dusty because it's been on my shelf for ages and I've not cleaned it. But, um, yeah, cool set. Really, really cool set. And this on FBA currently is £63. Now, I think that's a bit misleading. It, could, it was on FBA about £35 the other week. So I think what's happened is some another FBA has come in uh, put his up at the warehouse, but obviously the 35 quid guy or a 40 quid guy that was up there, he's sold out. The uh, the guy has then, while he's been listing out on, e on Amazon, he's seen that there's no FBA offers because that 35 guy's just sold out and he's thought, oh, I'm going to go mega high at 63, 64. And he's put it on that. I, I don't think it's going to sell for 64. I think that the demand is certainly there. But I don't know, and I would have to look on Camel, Camel, Camel and Keeper to see if he, in the future, is, is able to achieve the 63, 64. But I think for this set, conservatively, I, I, you know, I'd be looking about 40 quid, 35, 40 quid. Uh, especially on eBay, that's sort of the range. Uh, that's brand new and sealed, obviously. All the sets I talk about prices are for brand new and sealed. Um, but yeah, so it's done well. You know, even 12 months to go from you know, it's retail price to 40 quid, to 13 quid to 40 quid, 
very very good so yeah that's the set there really really cool set um i don't quite know why these sets have done so well i mean i think there is a big market for uh you know obviously young boys and they love the cars fast cars and stuff like that i think there's a big market there so that obviously helps um they don't have a really short shelf life but they don't have like a mega mega long shelf life at least some of them don't um but i don't know really. i mean the fact that it's licensed as well licensed sets they always do a little bit better than uh you know just the the, the normal lego sets the ones that lego produce like lego city um but i just don't know maybe they just hit the right price point with them or something like that but i really don't know there's so many different factors of why these could have done well but the fact is there's a big market there, you know, the the, mar the marketing these things to uh, younger boys who love the fast cars and stuff like that, and that is a massive market, so, you know, a lot of, a lot of young boys are into the fast cars, so I do think that is a big factor, and that's obviously helped them on the secondary market, because, you know, because the, the, that demand still there, even throughout their retirement, so, yeah, so that, that's, they're really, really cool investments for the LEGO Speed Champions, um, so a double whammy now, um, set 41147, four Anna's Snow Adventure, uh, 1999 retail, and 41066, uh, I believe this is like, um, oh, what's it called now, I've just wrote down Slay Adventure, um, but I think it's like Kristoff's and someone else's Snow, uh, snow Adventure, uh, Slay Adventure, sorry. For the comparison on this one, I've gone for 41062, Sparkling Ice, Ice Castle. I believe this has only been retired for a year again, so it's not had too long to actually perform. Uh, it's currently at £53 on FBA, and it retailed for £35. So, you know, you get this for, again, 20, 30, 40% discount, maybe 25 quid, something like that. You've just over doubled your money in a year, now that's decent. Uh, if you hold on to it for another year, maybe this set's going to be at 70 quid, something like that on FBA, maybe even a little bit more. So, yeah, I mean, you get it for a decent discount. You've done pretty well in sort of that sweet two-year spot. Um, so, yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, the reason I've sort of picked up on these ones uh, in particular is Frozen 2, the movie, is coming out in 2019. Now, let's say that these sets retire in January of 2018 because they're not re quite retired yet. Um, I think these might be a good play for the longer term because obviously Frozen 2 is going to pick up that demand for the Frozen stuff again, or at least I think it will. Um, so I think that these older Lego sets, or they will be older at the time uh, in 2019, I think they might pick up, I think they might uh, do pretty well, I think the value will be pretty good. Um, so yeah, I think just, you know, just for the fact that Frozen 2 is coming out in 2019, it might help them. And even if Frozen 2 weren't to come out, I think they're still fairly decent investments, but I would get these sets at clearance, you know, at 30, 40, maybe even 50% off. You could do 20% off, but it's a bit more risky at 20% off. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, I mean, it could be a decent investment, that one. It's a bit more speculative, though, that one, compared to something like the Speed Champions. Um, 75828. Ecto 1 and 2. Do I think that the Ecto 1 and 2 is going to be a good play long term? Well, if we look at the Ecto 1, um, it's currently about, it's about a year after retirement or just less than a year after retirement. And uh, it's £45 cost uh, or retail price. And it's currently on FBA at 75 and eBay at 65 So even if you got it on a discount, you know, 20% discount, 35 36 quid, um, you know, it, it's a decent play even after a year, the Ecto-1. Um, do I think that's going to rub off on the Ecto-1 and 2? I don't think it is. And the reason I don't think it is, is because, for one, the 2016 goes... The, the Ecto-1 and 2 set is more revolved around the um, female versions of the Ghostbusters. And I, I have no problem with the Ghostbusters being female or anything like that. But for whatever reason... The film didn't do as well. I don't know why it didn't do as well. And by no means putting it down to the fact that there were female actors, not at all. But for some reason, I think people didn't like the fact that it was being remade. Even like, um, you know, even if it was made, remade with an all-male cast, I still think it wouldn't have worked because people like the original. It's like we're back to the future. 
people would have an uproar if they re remade that because they, the, the fans of Back to the Future are hardcore fans who liked it the way it was. They don't want new people to come in and remake it and do it all flashy. They just want it left how it was and, and in, you know, preserved how it was. A really great trilogy of movies. And I think that's why, I think that's why it might not have done so well. I think a lot of the hardcore fans didn't like the fact it was being remade. Um, but yeah, so... I, I, with that said, you know, the Ghostbusters movie didn't do that well. Um, does that mean that the Lego set's going to suffer a little bit? Yeah, because, like, some of the dem demand that would have been there, if the movie did really, really well, uh, some of the demand that would have been there um, would have transferred over to the Lego sets, and that demand isn't there, so therefore that demand doesn't transfer over to the Lego sets and to purchases. And, yeah, I, and, and also the fact that this is just like an update on the Ecto-1, I think that's gonna sort of make people think like, well, I, mm, I don't really want it, I don't really need it. Um, obviously, hardcore collectors, they're gonna want it, they're gonna, they're gonna, you know, completists, they're gonna want it for the collection, but I just don't, and obviously general public, you know, there's obviously gonna be a portion of general public who's just gonna buy it, um, but we'll see. I mean, I could be completely wrong, I could be like, I could be so far wrong, it's just my opinion, and that doesn't have any bearing on what the set will do. It's just I don't think it's going to do as well as the Ecto-1. I'm really not as uh, hyped up about it as I was when the Ecto-1 came out and, and the buzz around that. So, yeah, so that's that. I also wanted to mention some honourable mentions. So, the Star Wars Battle Packs that are retiring are 75164, uh, 75132 and 75131. Um, so Star Wars Battle Packs have kind of had their day really, um, but if you get them on deep clearance, you know, like 50% off, something like that, if you get them on a deep discount then, you know, over the longer term, two or three years, you'll do okay. Um, a couple of comparisons, 75079, 11 retail, and it's currently on FBA for 18 quid, so, you know, you get them at 6 quid into 18 quid after two years, it's on the fence for me. I probably wouldn't do. Yeah, you know, I probably wouldn't be very, very happy if that turned out to be something I'd invested in. However, uh, seven five zero seven eight. This one, the Imperial Troop Transport, eleven ninety nine retail. Same year actually, and um, yeah, it's done pretty well over the last couple of years. Twenty nine pound on FBA. This one. So the other one's eighteen pound on FBA. This one's twenty nine pound on FBA. So. You know, with that one, you get that at deep discount, 50% off, 6 quid, you know, into 29 quid. Yeah, I'd be all over that. That's a good margin. That's a decent margin. So, yeah, I mean, it's hit or miss with the battle packs at the moment. I am not going to be investing very much in battle packs. You might see on the odd haul, I might pick up the odd one. But I don't think I'm going to invest, like, you know, I wouldn't get, like, 10 of them or 20 of them or whatever. Unless they were, like, really cheap. Like, I'm talking, like... 70% off or something, which is pretty much unseen now, so, yeah, um, yeah, so there's my honourable mentions, it might be worth having a quick research or look into the battle packs, but, yeah, I just don't think, for me personally, that's not worth it, um, the big one here that stands out massively to me is the Ford Mustang GT, I think that's going to do the best out of all of them, um, probably closely followed by, I would say in the slightly longer term, the uh, Frozen sets, maybe. The Christmas Square, I'm like that. I'm still not sure. I'm, I'm still not sure on that one. I have bought a few of them, but I'm just, I just—I don't know. don't know whether it's going to play out as well as I think. I'm really not sure. But anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like. I know it was a bit of a long one. I am trying to shorten these down, but the problem is there's so much. I really do want to give you a detailed analysis of these sets. There's so much information to cover, so I don't want to rush myself. And even at the moment, I feel like I'm rushing myself but uh, to try and get through them. But I really want to give you some valuable content and uh, not just like rushing through rushing through things. So yeah, I'm sorry if it was a little bit of a long one. But if you did like it, please do give it a like. Pop a comment down below. Talk to me about uh, what you liked about the video, what you'd like to see in the future, video suggestions, all that stuff. 
I am totally, you know, my ears are open. I'd love any video suggestions or anything like that. And I will be back with another LEGO investing video very, very soon in the month of December, which will be my December haul video. But also I'll be back for reselling related videos as well. So I will see you in the next one, guys. See you very soon. Thank you.